Hi there. I'm Mihai Moldovanu from Romania. I have been dreaming about building robots since I was nine years old. Back then, I was reading a lot of Asimov's, book, Asimov's books, and uh, this was happening around the 1980s or so. Unfortunately, back then, there was uh, still a communist regime in Romania, so access to Lafe machines and materials were almost impossible to get. Uh, fortunately, electronic circuits were available in the underground market and not, not also in, in the normal market, I think. And uh, so I decided uh, to drop uh, making uh, physical, physical robots and I learned a lot of electronics. Later then, uh, I learned a lot on a lot. I learned a lot about computers and software. I will fast forward in order not to bore you. Two years ago, I got my first 3D printer. First, uh, first printer was uh, bought with my some uh, with my colleagues at work, and we use it uh, to print some small some small things that uh, we needed. After that, I realized that the potential of actually building things and the idea that uh, lurked in the back of my head surfaced again, the idea with the robots. And I decided it was time to build robots. I searched uh, the internet for the project that would be close to my ideal vision. And I found the InMove uh, project. I decided to start from an InMove project and modify it uh, to suit my needs. What I want uh, from a robot would be very, um, very specific. First of all, I want a human-sized robot. That would be the, fir the first thing. Second, um, sh it should reassemble a human as much as possible. The robot should be uh, safe to be used by children. The robot should be reliable, so by, I won't have problems uh, sending sending him to get something and never return, or I have to tend it all the time. Um, it should be easy to be remote drivable in the telepresent uh, kind of way. So uh, if I decide that, that the robot should work in some, some place else and I should be able to, be, to drive it from here, um, it should be easy to replace defective parts and uh, each limb to have its own electronics, motors and uh, intelligence. Uh, my friend asked, when I asked my friends what they think about it, so they said, what are, you, what are you going to do with it? And usually I got the, the following answer from them. I considered it done when it will be able to take the command, get me a beer from the fridge and the robot should be able to navigate itself to the fridge, open it, get the beer, bring it to me. But that's, uh, that's a half joke because there is much, it's way more than that. Let's consider a bit the current global trends. Humanity started to push towards uh, multiplanetary living. That means that a lot of robots will be needed in order to perform necessary tasks for mining, building, maintaining, all the things around off-world colonies. And those robots would need to be autonomous uh, to the point uh, to be able to end. Um, there should be a point where th those robots sh should be driven by a human operator. And this should be possible. Um, not to mention that back here on, on home, on Earth, uh, we will need robots to assist children in learning and uh, also assist elderly people like uh, we see the trend in uh, Japan, for example. To put it in simple words, my vision for this is like this. I will be happy when we we'll have an open, easy to build and easy to control robots on another planet. So. This is my journey into robotics. This is what I aim for. Thanks.